Sometimes even the most well-designed space can feel like it's missing a few finishing touches. For me, floral arrangements are where it's at. My friend Carly Cylinder is a florist and she's a total pro. She's gonna come help me bring this space to life. Okay, so super formal dining room. Right. It's dramatic, but it's also traditional, right? right. Yes. I love the arrangement you did for the fireplace. Oh, thank you. Tell me about it. So for the vase, I chose a lot of seasonal greenery, and I like to mix and match different kinds of colors and textures. I chose a true green and then a bluish green and added in pops of red just to bring out the walls and keep it really big but also simple. I love that. And there's a teeny tiny little arrangement right next to it. There is, so I love using whatever you can find in your kitchen, and I use a stemless wine glass. And with a touch of gold, that just makes it a little bit more festive and sparkly. I used a bunch of dahlias, so if you just stick to one bunch of the same flower, it's really elegant and simple. Chop it short and pop it in, and you have a little side piece. I love it. So being that it's really formal, right, it makes sense to kind of leave an arrangement on the table all the time. Right, so tell me about this one. So for this, I wanted to do something a little bit non-traditional and use the terrarium vase, which is really trendy, and you can do a lot with it. I was actually inspired by kind of coral reef and underwater life. So I used seasonal greenery and then a mix of berries, and I just created a base and then popped the berries in. What's super cool is there's no dirt and no water, so it's very drought friendly. Anyone can do it, and it will, uh, dry and still look nice, you could definitely get a week or two and not have to worry about it. Wow, two weeks, no water, no maintenance. Yes, sold. The room is looking amazing, but what if I wanna turn the dial up a little bit and host a holiday party? How would you dress up the table? If you're having a party, the easiest thing to do is to get a vase or container and repeat it down the table. And I use these brass candle holders as the vessels, if it doesn't have a bottom, you can just put a smaller juice glass inside to hold the water and then put the flowers in. And so then, smart. Yep, you can make anything become a vase as long as it has water in it. I love that. I feel like Thank guests you. would fight over taking these home <laughs> if you gave them away as a gift. They might, be. it makes a good party favor and once you get it going and you have the assembly line, it goes really fast. And it really finishes off the space. With all the flowers just tucked into place, this dining room is ready for a party.